Well, hey folks, Research Indicates here with level 2 of Trespasser, the Jungle Road. This level is a straight shot with a couple of detours. Not much here, but we do meet a couple of new dinosaurs. And here we are, starting out. Now, if we turn around here, you can see the edge of the last level. The big wooden gate and the monorail track we jumped off of and landed with no damage, apparently. Now, the rail seems to be doing its own thing up there, so we'll just leave it be. Eight left. Walking over here, we find our trusty deagle. The Desert Eagle is the most common weapon on the island. It's a 45 caliber with an 8-shot magazine. Fairly accurate and easy to handle, it's the tops for basic weapons around here. The Ruger Red Hawk does more damage, but the Deagle has more shots, fires faster, and is a little more accurate. You could do a lot worse than the Desert Eagle. Five. Now, a lot of you had some good points about the game in general, so let's make things clear. Trespasser is not a good game. It could have been a good game. It had the potential to be a good game, but what was released in late 1998 and sold to the public was simply not a good game. And that is really just too bad. An idea brought me awake one morning in New York. I almost didn't write it down. We'll be following these monorail supports all the way to the end of the level. The fact that it's half finished really supports the idea that the Site B researchers got out of here in a hurry. It's a nice touch. What if a mosquito sucked the blood of a dinosaur 100 million years ago? The insect is then covered in tree sap which, over the millennia, becomes amber. Now I'm going to pick up this stick here just in case. Up ahead we meet another new dinosaur, the Stegosaurus. The insect is preserved perfectly. But you see, and here's the clever part, wouldn't the dinosaur blood be preserved as well? The blood holds DNA, a tiny spiral of genetic code. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Now, this guy's coming after me and I'm no Harry Potter. I'm gonna lure him on back to the Stegosaur and show you the one additional dinosaur emotion the developers left in the game. Hunger. Trespasser gets trickier and trickier as you progress in the game, probably as you follow the progress of the development team as they approach the deadline, cutting corners wherever they could. After a while, Trespasser becomes more of a chore than a game. You can liken it to babysitting a big, lovable, and slightly retarded child. You know he means well, but that doesn't keep him from dropping trow and shitting in the middle of the aisle at Costco from time to time. You'll notice that the raptor's got his face pretty much pressed up against the stegosaur there, but he's only doing damage when he opens his mouth. The raptor has a damage strip inside the mouth that's supposed to only be exposed when he attacks, but it doesn't work exactly right. It's pretty possible to damage yourself by stepping on a dead raptor because Five you touch left. it by accident. Ooh, we got him. Now we're gonna go teach this guy a lesson. Empty. Get Zooks, I planned this badly. Six left. Oh, friend, what have they done to you? Six left. Five, four, three, two. Your fight is over. It's back under the breach for me. Rest well, friend. We'll meet again soon enough. It's kind of a shame when friendly dinosaurs get killed in this game. They distract your enemies, take hits for you, and will sometimes kill a thing that's trying to kill you. They're really your only buddies on this island.
Death always makes me wax poetic. We squander health in search of wealth. We work and scrimp and save. Then squander wealth in search of health. And all we get's a grave. We live and boast of what we own. We die. And all we get's a stone. Sunlight angled down through the dusty air in Norman's office. And I leaned against a solid oak table. As I outlined my plans for international genetic technologies. Ah. This here is the Ruger Redhawk. It's the good old 475 Magnum revolver. Easy to aim because of the long barrel and tremendously accurate for a handgun. The Redhawk is one of the best weapons in the game. Under normal circumstances, it can drop a Raptor with two normal shots or one headshot. It was the flowering of an ambition born 50 years ago. 50 years struggle come to this. We'll take a short detour to the left here to see a reference to the Lost World. You'll remember the cool jeeps the in-gen hunting party used. Engine standard safari vehicle. State of the art. Five. One shot left. You can find these scattered around the island, often with some pretty good weapons nearby. The hunters scattered, their prearranged hunting routes forgotten. Only a third of the number appeared at the rendezvous. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I'm not going to make it back from here, am I? Three shots. Around ten. Ah, you hit invisible walls pretty often in this game. It's especially dangerous when you have a weapon in your hand, since it'll discharge into your face if you bump it the right way. You'll notice I picked up the hunter's skull back there. The skull, for some reason, has a high mass value, and that makes it a shockingly good melee weapon. If that doesn't work out, then I have the hunting rifle after all. Now, I'm just going to spook on up this hill, take care of the raptor hanging around up there, and we're going to get ourselves a new weapon. Okie doke, it is time for some Screaming Skull Championships. Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. Now, if I run over here and pick it back up, I can swing it like a club. But you guys are going to see real quick why melee weapons in this game are pretty much not a good idea. Okay, Mr. Skull didn't work out so well, so now we're going to go ahead and trade him in for some real weapons. This shed needs some work. The planks aren't even attached, but the only way to get them off is to shoot them. Eight left. Six. Five. Looks like seven. Okay, got me a Benelli shot. God damn it. Looks like seven. Okay, Benelli shotgun, 12 gauge. It's a pump action, though how Anne manages that is a mystery to me. You can see she holds it low and in. This is supposed to be so she fires it from the hip rather than from the shoulder like the other large guns. This one's pretty tricky to aim and has some pretty terrible range, but the damage it does in one shot is worth the trouble. Great against raptors, but if they get in close, the delay between shots will usually be the end of you. It has a seven shot magazine.
Coming up here is another fight between dinosaurs, a couple of raptors and a triceratops. Now I hate trikes. They mill around like everything's fine and then they charge you in the ass when you turn around. I hope she loses. The Triceratops is a long, low face, squamosal skull bones the length of the frill and three large horns. The skull takes up more than a third of the body length and the frill is believed to function as a sort of radiator, shedding unwanted heat while in the shade and absorbing heat in the sunlight. The hollow in the skull serves as a shock absorber, cushioning the brain from the impact of hits to the head. When a trike lowers its head, it's a good sign it's getting ready to attack. We are dropping some serious frames here, guys. For some reason, blood causes the game to grind down to a couple of frames a second. I've tried disabling it, but it didn't work, so please just bear with me here. Christ, it always takes exactly as many bullets as I happen to have. Alright, we're taking another detour to see some more Lost World stuff. It's a bit of a walk, so please enjoy the relevant scene from the film as we walk. Now darling, don't wander off. For God's sake, leave her alone, Deirdre. Sweetheart, what we'll kind your ball? There aren't any snakes on the beach. Just let her enjoy herself for once. Edward! Now this guy here is a Parasaurolophus. He's another harmless herbivore type, but you can get trampled by him if you're not careful. These guys have the dubious distinction of having the wrong foley sound attached to their mouth. When they start an eating animation, instead of playing the plant chewing sound effect, they play the basketball bounce sound effect. And that's just silly. Up here is the spooky beach, complete with lawn chairs and whatever else.
Oh my, terrifying and appropriate. We too were out on this island basically alone and getting swarmed by enemies. I'm teleporting us back up so we don't need to do that walk again. And we're back where we started. There's the trike over there to the right. There are a few more sound bites in this area, so we're going to go check them out. A road south along the coast. Bus stations in the early morning. Eating vending machine food in the fluorescent light. Stepping out of the bus in Mexico City. I shouldered my knapsack. Felt the heat wash over me. It was good to be alone. To be nobody for a while. And right up here is the second time Anne has her hopes for rescue dashed after the skull thing back there. A phone. Oh, thank God. Oh, that sucks, Anne. That sucks the big one. Alright, more rock throwing puzzles and I don't have a gun this time. Now, I'm sure you've noticed by now that the developer's idea of puzzles seems to mostly be knocking down piles of stuff. This holds until effectively the end of the game. Luckily, level 4, the town, throws in some keycard puzzles, which is a pretty nice change after all these boxes. And here starts a theme of walking on monorail tracks that is going to last until the end of this level. Check for enemies, and we are clear. Seven shots. Pick up another Benelli, and looks like another Red Hawk. Good setup here. Six rounds. Now, usually there's a Raptor just hanging out right here. Uh, with the ATX mod, though, he sometimes spawns in different places. I'm going to guess that he ended up way down the canyon there. So we're going to get walking and see if we can find him. Seven shots. Six. Four. Three. One. Are you kidding me? This thing is worse than useless. Five rounds left. Close your damn mouth. Well, that went well, and I'm effectively unarmed again. We're gonna have to pull a Metal Gear Solid until I can find some more weapons. Stay frosty. Ah, good luck. Up ahead is another new weapon and another box physics puzzle. We'll see if we can get this thing figured out. More rock throwing puzzles, but we have guns this time. Two left. That's it. Damn. Okay, couldn't do it. Uh, luckily, there's another Red Hawk around the corner here. Six left. What the hell was that? Well, that's odd and convenient. Feels full. 
Okay, this is the silenced MP5, which is curiously called the SB5 in this game. It's our first full auto, though not a particularly good one. The silencer reduces the amount of damage, but for no good reason. Dinos still come after you, whether they hear you or not. The unsilenced version of this gun is much, much better. Six left. Five. Here we have another floating gun box, and inside is an H&K VP-70. It fires used. three round bursts. It's decently accurate, but it tears through the 18-shot magazine in no time. I prefer the single-shot pistols myself, but beggars Haven't can't be used. choosers. A lost world is a sort of scientific myth. An evolutionary scenario in which an ecosystem is isolated and preserved. The rest of the world changes, leaving a tiny, fragile pocket where ancient species survive. Yada, yada, yada. Half gone. Okay, maybe not as useful as I thought. In any case, looks like he has better things to do, so we'll continue. As we move through the jungle areas, you can see the undergrowth is thicker here than in other areas. This starts to thin out as we get away from the coast. There's another Brachiosaur hanging out over there. Now, no one in this game, except for me I suppose, ever tries to attack the Brachiosaurs. Not the Raptors, not even the T-Rex. I've never seen it happen even though they hang out next to each other in a couple of places in the game. I'm not sure why that is. Almost out. Lindstrap guns, by the way, Swedish made, unbeatable in accuracy and rate of fire. Now this is the Lindstrat Tranquilizer Pistol. Normally a Trank round would put an animal to sleep, but not here in Trespasser. Instead, the round stops all animations. The enemy reverts to its neutral pose and stands there until you kill it or the Tranquilizer wears off. You only get a few seconds per shot, so you need to switch to a different weapon pretty quick. In the winter we began building the supports for the elevated transit system that would unify the island. Concrete towers rose through the jungle canopy. Three. Okay, now here's something that is just no fun at all. Full clip. Over here is a Barrett 50 cal mounted rifle with a 10 shot magazine. Unlike the Barrett from that fantastic assassination Around mission 10. in Call of Duty 4, this Barrett is a death trap. You can't use the scope and aiming it is almost impossible. If you get attacked while you're hanging on to this thing, you are dead in no time. Nine. Not worth the trouble. Full clip. Three shots. Now we're gonna drop the Lindstrat gun here and we are gonna hop up on the monorail track there, which is eventually gonna take us to the end of the level. Now the monorail track is a big long example of platforming and trespasser and another chance to use physics. There are boxes and things all along the track for you to drop on enemies on the ground, but that turns out to be surprisingly tricky. Coming up out of the southern base in the Atherton Causeway would bring visiting scientists north from the southern beach. Well, they certainly were serious about their monorail. Huh, huh. Huh. Ow! This is all a bunch of crap, because it's really easy to fall off of these things. I'm sorry folks, there's just not much to say about this area. Uh, you can go get a Gatorade or something if you want, at least till I get back up on the rails. Huh. 
There's a raptor down there. We'll get the drop on her, so to speak. This 600 pound length of steel I-beam should be just fine. Good thing I can lift it with no trouble. Now, the raptors don't like to come out from under the track sometimes. This guy might not want to play ball with us. Come on out, kid. Okay, you know what? Forget it. You might have noticed some of the items are floating about 10 inches off the ground. I'm not exactly sure what causes this, but I know it happens like crazy in the town. I think it's got something to do with the ATX mod. We'll have to check when I do a run through without the patch. Well, almost got that guy. Okay, up and at him. Full clip. We'll run over here, pick up another Benelli, and get back on the tracks. Seven shots. Feels about half. Okay, back up the crane. There's another couple of box jumping puzzles up there, and we are just about home free. Well, damn. And the end was right there, too. And hey, listen to that. The raptor's eating us. Alright, that's enough of that. Okay, let's try that again. And it was a teeter-totter beam all along. All right, I'm just going to turn around here and take care of this guy. Six rounds. Five. Three. Two. Empty. Well, hey, didn't kill me that time. Up here, we hop over another couple of boxes, and we are home free. That is, if I can just get over these boxes. And there it is, the end of the jungle road, start of the industrial jungle. Tune in next time for level 3. This is Research Indicates for the Something Awful Forums. I'll see you next time.